Hello and welcome to Streets of Festive Sessions Online. I'm Illinois and I'm here with FL Studio. And I'm here to show you guys five uh, key VSTs in FL Studio to help you create more and you know stay on top of your, uh, your, your producing game or sound design, whatever have you. So let's get started. Right here in FL Studio, click, uh, once you open it up and you click Add Channel, you're going to find Flex right here, right? Flex is uh, one of the new VSTs that came out not so long ago. Now, with this VST, you, um, you're able to control a lot of components. Your delay, your reverb, your limiter, master filter, your pitch, um, everything. So you, you can't go wrong with it. Um, one of my favorite things is FL Studio, they have a store with Flex where they add different sound packs and the sound packs range from all genres and everything, which is cool because sometimes it keeps you in your element, you get some fresh new sounds. And they also, every now and again, they put some free sound packs that you could get right now with the packs that come with it. Um, you got, you know, you got your strings, which you're, you're always going to need that. You know what I mean? You're always going to need your strings. <laughs> And your and your uh, your brass, I mean, right there. Um, so I had to click the string, but anyway, uh, I got all the sounds you're gonna need uh, to create. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna click. Uh, go to Utopia right here, which is a pretty dope. If you're doing a lot of that EDM, that house stuff, Utopia is definitely where you want to be at. So I'm going I'm to play the keys here And as you see As I'm playing the keys The different parameters I can mess with With the filter And change my sound up My delay your feedback, your reverbs. I'm going to take off the delay so you can hear the reverb. Turn that decay up. Get that decay right there, that ringing in the back. It's cool. Again, I like messing with, with all these different parameters when I'm looking for sounds in FL Studio, when I'm trying to create and stay on top of my game. Uh, and it's really straightforward. Flex is, is straight. It's straightforward. It is this. Another cool thing right here. It shows you your spectrum. You know, you can switch out different things. And, and that's good because, you know, you know where where you're getting a lot of your, your, your sound at, where it's heavy at in the EQ spectrum, um, which is beneficial. Uh, again, I got a lot of dope sounds you could go through the pianos uh, they did a great job with the pianos here uh so like the, the steinway just click the steinway the steinway fix it sounds pretty good so and again you, as you playing Parameters. What I like doing, I just I just go crazy with it. I add different things. So again, Flex is a pretty dope VST. You got packs are ready for you, ready to go in, make some dope beats. Um, again, you get free sounds every once in a while. And then they got a store where you definitely could go uh, upgrade and buy sounds that uh, are available. Uh, you have anything you're going to need. Whatever you're trying to get into, it has it. Um, and yeah, definitely, I would recommend, definitely recommend Flex. 
um, to use. Again, just going over it, it has all these parameters that you could use. And yeah, man, use flex to, to create and make some dope sounds. Another dope VST FL Studio has is Citrus. Citrus is like one of the first ones I started messing with when I was uh, came up using FL Studio. So we click Citrus. What I like about Citrus, it has so many parameters as well. Different sounds, dope sounds. This right here, what I'm doing, I'm just lowering it. So what I like about FL Studio is very intuitive. You're going to find your own ways how to uh, do your things. So with that being said, let's click. Let's go through some of these sounds. And you might, you might hear some of these sounds and notice them from songs that you hear on the radio. One of my favorite ones is Purity. But I'm going to go in with like this right here. That sound right there, if you go back and listen to Little Wind Drop the World, they use that. They use that uh, uh, this cube right here from Citrus. Um, but I'm going to show you some some components, some key things that Citrus does. So you got, first off, your modulation, right? Which is cool. It keeps you creative, keeps you, you know, doing some new things, which I like. Um, obviously, got some volume here. You can mess with, you can mess with your volume right there. Uh, your pitch. Your LFO. Low frequency, um, and again, the attack, your the your decay, your sustain, your release. It has all that in your volume for your filters as well. So you could do a lot of things here. Now, this section right here is when when I started using uh, FL Studio. At first, I didn't know, you know, what none of this did, and I would just go in and and press knobs, turn knobs, and be like, man. And there was times that I just created, uh, you know, some crazy uh, sounds or effects um, using it like that, which was oh, which always it always amazed me because it, it kept me like, oh man, what am I gonna create today? So you got that. You can go through all of these here and create different uh, synthesis different sounds, different filters, different effects um, to a sound you already have. So, for an example, we'll go here. Let's say, you know, you like that sound a lot. You like that sound. And you just, you know, you want to do things to it. Whether it's panning, whatever it is you want. See this right here, there's a filter. All right, so now let's go and that. All the, again, just all the parameters it has. Citrus is one of FL Studios, uh, I would say, best um, VSTs, and they definitely have a lot more. But Citrus, once you start there, it's you're gonna keep going. All the sounds that you could create with, that you could do. What I like about it too, FL Studio, when you go through these sounds. Obviously, you see some of the knobs on how they created this sound, right? So, just by right-clicking, you can mute these sounds, right? You could mute the, uh, sorry, the effect of it. Let's click them back in. So, with these knobs is how, with these knobs is how they got that effect. 
and it's cool because you could go then go in and you know tune what they did, what they gave you, and uh, make it your own. Another dope effect we have. Uh, it's called morphine. Morphine is you got harmer, which is another good one as well. Um, I'll show you that one too. But morphine is definitely one of the ones if you stay in India in in that. Let's find it right here. Oh, morphine, where you at? Where you playing with me today? Right here. All these VSTs. So morphine is pretty cool. What I like about morphine, again, you have all these different things. So for an example, I'm going to switch the sound up. Let's go here. So let's say in my panning, I want to... You can play with different... The velocity... And these different generators, you could go and play with the pan and the detune, the velocity of all that, and create a dope sound. Now, this uh, version of uh, Morphine is the trial version right here, um, just to let you test it out. So, definitely go to imageline.com, download FL Studio. If you don't have it, uh, get with the demo version, play with it. Um, so that way you can see how you like it, how it could work uh, with you in your workflow and how you're able to utilize it. Um, again, so you have all these different modulations here uh, where you could create a different sound with the sounds that's given, just like with all of them, what we were doing. And they all, in a way, have the same things, just, you know, different sounds and what they do. So, like, this one has, uh, Morphing has an EQ uh, built in already, which is cool. Because you could, you know, do some cool things with it right there on the fly, which is nice. Another one that's pretty dope. You have, um, I'm going to show you guys, and, and SliceX. SliceX is, is, if you like, let me delete some of these here. If you like uh, sampling, doing things like that, manipulating sound like that, SliceX is where you want to be at, right? So SliceX, um, it does just what it's saying. It's going to slice up some sound. So. An example, I'm gonna go right here to let me go. Let me pick one of these sounds. Let's pick one of these sounds right here. So we got uh Memoirs of a Traveler. Alright, so you could take Slice X, and what I like to do is I go right here, I go to my regions, auto slice. And when I click auto slice, I'm able to go right here, right click piano roll. And let me delete, I'm going to delete all this because we don't need it. Um, and that's just, so it breaks up the sounds for you. Is cool so when you're creating and I like doing that a lot especially if you know you sampling music is a pretty dope good intuitive tool to have so we're gonna go back to it here slice X and we're gonna do and you could change up how you, uh, you know, use it. So, for an example, if you at marker fifty-one, right, and you want that shorter, you just move your marker. Uh, let me delete this marker. Delete that. And you could just move your markers over, 
and it, you could take more of the sample, or if you want, you know, whatever thing from the sample you want with, with your marker to you definitely could get exactly where you want to get to with that precisely in it. And you have, again, all these different para parameters you can mess with. The modulation. You have uh, the cuts. You have everything you need at your fingertips to go and create and sample music, sample sounds. And it could do anything. So FL Studio, um, let's go to some of the sound packs they got here, right? So we'll go to one of the loops. So that right there, there's a FL Studio um, stock loop. And let's say, you know, you like that loop and you want to have the kick and everything separated. There's other ways you could, you know, do it. You could use Edison to slice it up and get it as well. Or you just bring it into Slice X. Again, you come right here, your piano row. Uh, and it has everything for you already. Kick, snare, ha it has what it is. And then you could go in and, um, uh, you know, create your sound. And that's that's what I like about FL Studio, the, the intuitive and, and how it just lets you create. around putting some sounds together but that's just giving you an example of the power of slice x the things you could do with slice x how you could take anything any sound any sound you're listening to um and right here like in packs for an example let's let's find that was if there was a reason you wanted to take that uh, FPC bleep and just get a, you know, certain parts of it, you could do that. So you could get certain parts of any sound using SliceX um, and all the tools that it has to cut, to chop. Um, it's pretty cool. Also, an another cool feature I like about it is I'm going to go back to, to a loop. Right, uh, so it will tell you the tempo right here. So, as you see, is that uh, 60 BPM? Um, once you uh, let's see, and if it doesn't tell you the tempo, you could highlight, uh, on right click right here, and highlight. Your, your section, go right here to this tool, regions, and then you go to uh, the tech beats, and it'll uh, tell you everything. Now, you have medium. I always default myself to medium um, auto slicing, and I'm going to show you the difference, what all of them do, right? So let's go to packs here, and we go back to this, um, and let's get a... Let's get this right here. So, oh. what that does is, I don't think too much of it. I'm going to just show you how it slices up some things differently. So, regions, auto slice. Again, I always go to medium, and it does that for me. Cool. Control Z. You see, erase what we did. And then you could go to. Uh, Auto back to auto slice. You could do sharp. Sharp gets more in, you know, gets into it deep. Control Z, you see. Take that out what we did. And then uh, small grid slicing, which would do, you know. And that, that's pretty cool if you you know, want to use the whole sample to take it, not random part, well, random parts, but 
or like the same cut different sections but with the same time so that's what that does that gives you the same time on all sections which is pretty dope um and it's pretty cool so that's the, again that slice x it has all the parameters you need this right i love this right here because if you're playing a loop and you want to see if it you know was looped perfectly put that infinity and it'll let you know if your loop is perfect all right so another cool vst that fl studio has you can do this it's called and i like using this uh on my uh on my mixer so i'm gonna open up a project that i got here and this right here um, will show you what Effector does. Effector is a is you can modulate, you can do anything you want with your sound, manipulate your sound however you want. So as this opens up and we go to Effector, you go right here, uh, you click your for your mixer, and again. This is this approach is for um, if you haven't used FL Studio and you you know just want to know more about it and some things about it and some of the great things. So for an example, I'm gonna play this right here. So this is a sample I created, um, and the sample that I use. Pattern mode. Let me show you guys the effect. Uh, I guess I'll use that right there. So back to my mixer. Let's put effect or up and see what that does. And right here. Let me flip to it. Right here. All you got to do is when you open it up, press E or you know what it starts with, it'll pop up. So, which is pretty cool. That's why I love. FL Studio again, so intuitive in the act, the things it does. So I'm gonna go to song mode so they can play the whole song, and I'm just gonna pick a section from my uh, arrangement window. I'm gonna go right here for an example. <laughs> So I'm going to go to effect all and show you guys some different things, some cool things it does, right? So got that. What I like about it, what I like about it too, you could change your gridding up. One eighth, one fourth, three eighths, one and a half, all that, which is pretty cool because it gives you different uh, effects. Especially if you're doing a lot of cool EDM stuff, um, you hear a lot of that. So, like, uh, the grain is one of my favorite tools right here. Let me show you. Let that play. see that what it does right there how it how it lets you let's go to that drum pattern right here and go back to effects got different effects but again green is one of my favorite ones the way you can stutter the beats you can do some crazy cool things with vocals as well um the phasing the phasing is pretty i love i love using the all, all these things but i'm gonna just play the sound and go through all the, the things moves it from left to right
for it. So as you see all those different things, uh, it has. Effector is definitely one of the craziest effect VSTs that FL Studio um, has to offer. Um, and again, all the things you could do. So definitely when you go and you download this, uh, if you don't have FL Studio already, when you go and you download it and you playing with your sounds and making um, some beats or whatever it is, you're going to notice uh, all the cool things you can do and will do using it. So real quick, I want to get back into some some of the ones we went over with. And that was Flex. Flex. You got all these dope sounds. Definitely get it get into it with Flex. You got so many sounds at FL Studio, great sounds that they gave you. They sound great as well. High quality. Um, and we, we also touched up on, uh, Citrus, which was, again, one of the first ones, um, I started in, and with Citrus, you could, you got all these parameters you're messing with, you know, your volume, your pan, just, just everything, go crazy with it, go crazy with all, the, with all these things there, and stay in tune with FL Studios, there's always a cool new, um, update that you could do with FL Studio, and what I'm gonna do is, in, in in with some of the VSTs that I showed you guys, I'm gonna create uh, uh, a beat with it, and you know show you guys how you could get make some dope beats with 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 um, these VSTs that we showed you here today, and one more cool thing that I like. I'm going to go into to this one right here. It's called, if it lets me find it, right here. We're going to go to Harmless. Right, Harmless, what I like. You know what? No, we're going to go to Harmer. Let that open up. Alright, so what I like about Harmer, if I take a sound and say this say this A, I could add it. Right here is the additive synthesizer. So I could add it. I'm gonna go to And it follows that same, that waveform. So you see how that says. Beat! Beat! It follows that. All these, any sound you, you put in it. Let's go to AP, we drum kit. Let's get a, let's get an 808. And it follows that waveform of the 808. Um, whatever you put in it, it's going to follow it. And that's, that's, I always thought that was pretty cool. No, I always love that about FL Studio. Harma does uh, the same thing as well. But I like. Let's get a sound that's more elongated here. Let's go to. Put Exodus from 30 in. There's a cool drum kit right here. And as that loads in there, it's just the different things you can do. So and you could again just like citrus and flex and all that, you can mess with all um different parameters on that, which is uh, pretty cool. That's what I like about it. So with that being said, thank you guys for joining Mr. Fester Sessions online. I'm Illinois. Hopefully you learned something cool about 
the FL Studio VSTs and what they have to offer. If you want more information, go to imageline.com and there you will find all the information you may need. Stay tuned for round two as we're going to make some dope beats uh, with the VSTs we just showed you. Stay safe. <laughs>